This conference will now be recorded. So here, um, civil tower. Mm, what though? So first thing, create a org. So again, I'll just go ahead and if you see that here. Let's go by one by one here. So here okay. you can manage multiple org organizations. And, right. Uh, uh, so I think Danish has some problem like he wanted to manage multiple organizations and each right. organization they should have a user separate teams, mm -hmm. inventories, projects. Mm -hmm. Project means what? Do you remember? Uh, nothing. Uh, I mean, it, it it can 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 you call it a, a like a playbook? Yeah, just correlate here. So right. this will help you. So here you see, inventory means hyphen i inventory. Right. Project means your site dot yaml for your entire projects. Okay. Right. I'm okay. just calling the roles and all. Credential means right. something like this, right? Here okay. I just put it up for this URL, create a temp. I'll just share this with you so you will have some memories. Sure. So create a template means this command combinations. This command combination means inventory and credentials and all URL. Right. And then the project is the project. Right? That's just a okay. template. And the moment you run the template, it becomes a job. So this is your job. Right. This is the last step. Correct. So yeah, this is a organization. We create a user inventory job templates, some of the admin and projects now, which, which we did it. So let's go into from the bottom section this time. So here, okay. if you want to enable some different authentications, such as LDAP mm -hmm. and all, so here you can enable it. Uh, see okay. here, Azure AD is there, GitHub is there, Google Auth is there. LDAP, except LDAP, I have used nothing actually. Uh, I don't think so. Oh. Again, depends on your organization. So, LDAP is a 90% of the solution radius, SAML, practice. So, there is one built in authentication already there, which is user ID and password. Uh, but here, mm -hmm. uh, if you fill this, uh, authentications mm -hmm. will be done. So, that is uh, authentications. Here, job settings. Uh, here, you can see that. Available modules allowed for ad hoc jobs. Now, here at the system level, uh, you can set what are the uh, ad hoc modules will be allowed for. Uh, what are the modules will be allowed for ad hoc jobs? Ad hoc job means that job which you are creating immediately, not uh, not through the running the pipeline and all. So here, uh, you can create ad hoc job also and. Uh, run it this so what are the what are the modules allowed for this so for this we have a this one uh, some of the things which you need to remember this is the global path when that jobs run it runs from this path uh, maximum okay. the jobs which you can schedule 10 and 10. Uh, yeah and you can modify again this one depends on the queue server uh, and will call web plugins if you want to use it uh, isolations many many settings are there for the job related stuff uh, the default okay. settings are sufficient but yeah sometime you want to configure it let's say some uh, let's say some job timeout is failing so you want to increase that so here you can modify these options also and you know it can be done so all the jobs related related settings you have here at one go uh, now here system these are the features which you want uh, enable or disable. So by default, most of the features, which is this a default setup. Uh, this is a, it can be you want to change the DNS name for this. You can do that. Uh, some of the okay. global settings, uh, uh, access token expiration. This all the, the moment you read it, you understand this more or less. Uh, refresh short and uh, refresh token expiration expiration. Uh, mm -hmm. Authorization and all stuff like number of uh, number of uh, maximum number of simultaneously logged in sessions and all minus one minus one means unlimited. Okay, so okay. if you don't understand anything, just click on this question mark. Also, you will have it uh, all this stuff. 
So each and everything okay. here you have a uh, explain. Uh, user interface related settings like what you want and all. So here you have and license. So license I applied for 60 days. And right. if you want to extend the license, you can again browse that dot up, but we did first time. So these are the okay. options in setting we have. Okay. Uh, right now, uh, yeah, there's no applications we have added. So applications means uh, any additional features you want to add. So integrations basically, so you can do that here. Uh, least used features. Instance group. Instance group, uh, something like uh, one of the group which we have a tower by default. And you can create a more group. So this also create instance group and container group. Uh, this okay. instance group, you can use it for what purpose? So instance group, this is used for running your playbook, like acting right, like. So, a, uh, yeah. Can you add, uh, so when you say instance group, you can add multiple IP addresses over there, right? Uh, yes, uh, here, uh, if you want like, to add, a, if, if you want to add uh, some IP address, then click mm -hmm. on the save here, the same machines. And right mm -hmm. now, here, how many instances we have one? So you see right. here one. So what exactly this is? See, uh, Tower also required some compute to run the jobs, correct? Tower, I'm talking about Tower. ACS. Right. So right. from which server they should do that? So that is called instance group. So you can add a more, you can create a more machine. Right now, local host is selected one. You can add a more machines or you can use okay. a local host. So ACS, okay. like the place from the request will be created. So you can create a group and one of the machines will be used in the group right now by default. It's a one, you see the instance one. You can create a more group also. So here, uh, if you think, uh, you can create a container group also like a docker and all, but instance group right now. And this is a int group and then use it. And for this, now add an instance and same way here, add a IP address and all. Uh, there's a one machine. So here you have to search machine. Uh, just There's only one available. Uh, I need to add in the. Group. There should be some. Ah, so here. Uh, machine server. Okay, so let me see this here. Um, use capacity zero one available zero. And here you are adding instance local host. And one more adding. Uh, okay, let me see. Let me come back to this. This UI has little change. So I need to check that. Uh, so you can create a group but mm -hmm. how to add an instance into it. So that's uh, just a second, hold on. Uh, and civil tower, add instance uh, to group. So example isolated moves. Instance group and create instance group that is done and associated this is what i am doing and this is art or searching for that so okay so uh, is is it is it possible that uh, we can add instances from the inventory from mm, no, our that is, okay don't get confused uh, that inventory is the place where we deploy the r playbook this instance okay. the place from where we run so local host is by default and okay. we need to add the instances. Uh, so I'll, I'll just find out that earlier it was there, but how to add the instances? I will find uh, tower add instance. Okay, so when we say instance, we are not talking about the target machine here. No, 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 no. I'm talking the source machine. 
Mm. Okay. So okay, I'll, I'll find out this option. It's uh, not available quickly. Okay, so this right. how to add a source machine. One lo local host is already available, which is very right. easy. But we have yes. to add our own if if you have an enterprise solution for it. Okay. Okay. These are some of the options which you can uh, do for management jobs. Clean up all the stream or token expired session clean up. So it's a one time activity. You can schedule this. You can schedule that okay. or if you want to do it right away, click on this click on this rocket rocket sign. So this okay. is the for administration uh, here. You can set up a notification system notifications means when the email should be triggered. So this is a my let's say uh, uh, all the notification or something like that. I'm setting up okay. for which organization. So here I'm organization DevOps school. DevOps school. And, uh, huh. What is the type of message email? and uh, email type details and stuff like that and finally uh, you can set template so template means this you are sending an email okay fine but what should be the template so here you can add a template so you can write your uh, email there yes whatever the information you need. okay uh, i'm clicking actually are you able to see my screen i can i can see the screen yeah so this button is not responding somehow. Mm -hmm. Let me save and then. Yeah. So, wait a second. Notifications. All. Organization. DevOps school or miss. Let's use the default. Select. Type of email and. Recipient list. Let me fill all these things. DevOps school sender DevOps here host SMTP host. You have to give it. So SMTP okay. host means 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot faking. I'm faking out. Okay. Four, okay. Four, five, six, seven, and timeout. And what is the more email options? TLS and safety. Now if that option is come. So this is a LDAP SMTP server you filled, and now you can add the template. So here more template you can add it. Uh, this one added so like that. So yeah, that's the moment you click here. This this is a place you can add up. So this template you can use for the uh, while creating a uh, this uh, notification template you can use while creating a template. So I created one template here, uh, manual, mm -hmm. and here okay. I'll go and see notifications. And here is all I created, right? Start, success, failure. So you enable it for everything, or if mm -hmm. you want only failure, you can say failure. So that okay. way you can enable for the notifications. Credential types. Uh, this credential type is automatically populated. Lots of options uh, you will have, uh, like what kind of credential type, what you can add more credential type. So where you can see this credential type. So go to the credentials where where it is. Credential here it is. So when you right. add a credential here, you will be asked for what is the type of credential which is here. So many options are already there actually, uh, but mm -hmm. if you think some option which is not there. So then here you can add it. So not required default option is too much. Actually, you will not use more than that. Yes. So back to the here you can use a team. Here you can create a team. Uh, here you can create a users to your organizations and all, and so on. Now you can also uh, here we last session we created a demo inventory a host I think host. Then we added a projects one of the project which was manual. Or DevOps, I think. I think DevOps actually. Uh, let me see. Uh, this is the DevOps, and we added a credential for the servers also. And finally, template. We created a template, and this template was manualized. So if you see that in the template manual, I put that I want run inventory which I selected host project manual, and site.yaml automatically populated it. And here, all this other stuff you can set it up. Here, you can set the permissions who should be accessing this one. Here, you can set the notifications and all. Here, you can schedule run. You can set this 
a cron tab and something like that you can do that but right now not needed so you created one template and now this template the moment you run it like this look at this here job which is 38 right so i'm going to run right. this 39 so now let's look at the job 39 you see here now not finished not started not finished it's in pending let's wait for it okay i just refresh it okay so again it's got into the pending now why is that so so again same issues so not sure why this is popping up but i got a solutions actually which i have shared with you so you can check this out also so here uh, this pending is there because of some of the services when you when i re reboot the machines that service is not running how do i check this okay. out so this is the command to check it out and here if you see that it's a server issue so here look at this this is the problem okay this is the problem. okay so how do okay. we fix it so let me take a screenshot i need this actually here and edit this error in this one now solution is very simple uh, what you need to do uh, you need to restart the tower, tower. yes okay. and uh, you should fix it so this is popping again and again not sure why because the moment i restart my vm this process will not be running this process okay. will not be running so i just restart the tower and it should solve the issue. Refreshing doesn't help. We have to restart the tower completely. You cannot just refresh yeah. it. Uh, because okay. the service no refresh will not impact any service. So right, right, that will not correct. Checking little time. Okay. So this is the you can do that. Let me find out meanwhile uh, that steps got changed. How can I remove an instance or add an instance? So how this will how to add? This is what I want, but here okay, so actually you know what I have to do. I have to reconfigure this tower one more time. And in this I have to set it up like this. Then I'll get it. So now it's uh, driven by playbook. But the question is which one? So let me check that. Okay, it's done. Yeah. Uh, refresh it here. See successful. So now success. Uh, refresh successful. Now one more time if I do, and again you see that here, it's running this time. So now right. again if I trigger this time, which time uh -huh. you should not go into pending, which is job number forty, and refresh. See okay. that was successful. Now, next thing which I am trying to find out, which is grep hyphen R, this one and on. This is not taking. Here it is. Yeah. So we need to modify that instance at at. Uh, yes. 
I think we need to modify that instance in the install.yaml file. Hmm. Yep. So in the install.yaml file only, we need to add. Earlier it was some different place, but no problem. So post instance group and star uh, underscore star. So that means where is inventory file? We are inventory. And do you see that? I'm just trying to look it. And, and 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 I think this is the one. Yep. So you have to modify in this source file only for that instance. Okay, so this is the tower. Now under the dashboard, you will have a complete report of what exactly you have. So you have a two host right now, zero okay. failed host, inventory is two. Projects in three and all this thing. This is the job status, recently used template, recently run jobs, and all. so some of the options you have in this uh, profile. So you can check this out here. And this is logout and so on. So here you can change your name, email address, password, and blah blah blah. You can also see that which part of the organizations you are and of teams, permissions, tokens. You can generate your tokens, whatever the access you have, you can use that for uh, authentication. What are tokens exactly? Uh, so, uh, uh, website, we use the password, but when you use the API for Tower, then you need a pass token that, that time. It will not work. So what you have to do, you have to, uh, you know, create a token. So let me create a token for uh, scope read write and save it. This token, uh, instead of password, whenever you use the API, this token you can use it, and it is expiring till this one. So whatever the access you have. Uh, Whatever the access you have it, you have it. We you have it to the website to the password. You have the same authentications mm -hmm. there. Also. Got it? Got it. So this is the tower. You have any specific questions for that? Uh. No, nothing as of now. Okay, so from next time, what we will do, we'll have a question based session. That means you okay. and Danish will consolidate the question. Okay. Okay. And then we will have a session based on that only. So we can have a two session based on that. So make sure that all the questions put it up in one mm -hmm. goal. So that will be easier for me and you also. Correct. Okay. So you discuss Correct. with Danish today and then for tomorrow session. Please come up with a list of questions. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, can you please send this recording so yeah, that Danish can uh, refer this video and uh, come up with questions? Yeah. By the way, all the videos also push to the uh, dashboard. I mean, sorry, LMS. Right. 